For those of you choosing to watch this video today, this is kind of a freebie. This is probably the most difficult problem on the study guide. It's number 41 on your study guide for chapter 10 test. The freebie that I'm going to give you is this piece of information. We have a circle with two secant lines through it, meaning that they touch the circle at exactly two points and continue on. The thing that they don't tell you is that this initial secant line is actually a diameter of the circle. What that gives us is the ability to find the measures of these other arcs that are not marked. Without these two pieces of information, you would not be able to solve this problem. We know that from, from previous knowledge, half of a circle is 180 degrees. So if this part is 147, that makes this remaining part 33 degrees. We now have enough information to be able to find the measure of angle 1. We know that we have a theorem that says the measure of angle 1 is equal to 1 half the sum of the arc included by the angle and the arc included by the vertical angle from angle 1. Using these two pieces of knowledge, we can say that the measure of angle 1 is equal to 1 half the sum of 33 and 67, which is 1 half of 100, meaning that the measure of angle 1 is 50 degrees.